Hello friends, my name is Kishan and welcome you in this video tutorial. This video is continuation of my previous video tutorial. There we had started discussion about the uh, date time API enhancement in JDK 1.8. So I'll continue with that. So working with dates in Java used to be hard. The old date library provided by the JDK included only three classes, right? That was Java dot util dot date java dot util dot calendar and java dot util dot timestamp these were only suitable for the most basic tasks for anything even remotely complex the developer had to either use the third party libraries or write tons of custom code java 8 introduced a completely new date time api uh, which is available in the java dot util dot time package it is loosely uh, based on the popular Java library uh, called Joda Time. The new API uh, is drastically simplified date and time processing. Uh, a first advantage of new API is clarity. The API is very clear, concise and easy to understand. It does not have a lot of inconsistency, inconsistencies found in the old library such as field numbering in calendar months are zero based but but days of the week are one based so these are the inconsistency inconsistency in the old libraries now <coughs> the old uh, the old date library included only a single time representation class right like java dot util dot date which which despite its name is actually a time stamp uh, it only stores the number of milliseconds elapsed since the Unix epoch. Now, the most uh, in java.util.time package, which is the part of the JDK 1.8, most commonly used classes are like local date, local uh, time, and uh, local date time. As their name indicates, uh, they represent the local date time from the context of observer these classes are mainly used when time zone are not required to be explicitly specified in the context uh, as part of this video we will cover the most commonly used api so here we are going to start from uh, first of all we'll look into the use cases of local date so local date represents a date in iso format uh, basically in yyyy mm and dd format uh, without time it can be used to a store like a birth date or pages etc so here is the eclipse let's go ahead and create a demo project so here i have already created a project named is called java 8 uh, that was supposed to java 8 i want to re rename it so let me rename this project as java 8 date time demo and here you will see some huge cases of local date so so the local date represents a date in the iso format right so an instance of an instance of current date can be created from the system clock as we have a local date it's a class which is available in java dot time package sorry guys this is in java dot time not in java dot util dot time so sorry for that uh, that so that is available in java dot time right package now uh, to create instance of uh, local date first api we have a is called now and you can see there are three overloaded of method of now so i'm going to use first one so now if you try to print it local date and if i try to print it So this was print uh, time. This is the default format. Y y y y d d 
and mm sorry mm and dd format so today is the i mean first march of uh, today is the first march 2017 so that is printing over here now now there is you can see there are some over and beauty of this local date is that this class is a thread safe right in in jdk 1. Point, till jdk 1.7 we were a class java.util.date that was not a thread safe but this is a completely thread safe now if you look into the another overloaded method so let me give h1 and if you can see there is another overloaded now method so local date you can see local date 2 and if you look into another uh, API which accepts clock right so here you can create instance of clock clock equal to so basically this uh, Java a date time API uses a lot of factory methods so one of the factory method is called uh, system default zone so you can create object of clock like this and this clock you can pass it over here and again if you try to print it so, uh, almost you'll get the similar output so second overloaded method you can use like this right now third overloaded method you have a you can pass time zone right if you look into the third overloaded now method which accepts time zone right if let make it three, three and here this overloaded method will check then that is asking you to supply value for time uh, zone id so we have again a zone id is a class zone id so it's a abstract class and you can create instance of zone id like this equal to zone id and dot you can have a off method right and if you go to the zone id then there are a lot of you can see a lot of i mean time zone they have a specified over here so you can take any of the time zone like i am going to take one of the time zone is europe and paris so this time zone you can specify like this and you can pass this zone id over here so this is the huge case this is the way to create i mean current date using this now method which accepts zone id and if you try to print this so almost you'll get the similar outputs so i hope you got it now let's move ahead now the local date uh, representing a specific date month and year can be obtained using the off method or by using the parse method so there is some other use case so here you have seen how to create instance of uh, local date using now method now if you look into the some other method so we have a method is called give it four local date and a method is called off so look at there is overloaded method there are two overloaded method so first method is saying that you will have to pass year month and day of the month right so let's so year i'm going to pass 2017 month you can pass over here so month i'm going to pass and day i'm going to pass two so this is basically this is second march and if i try to print it so you can create instance of a specific date by passing the year month and day of the month so if i try to print it so see this is a second march 2017 so you may use off method as well and next api we have a something is called parse so let it make local variable as local date file and here again you can make call 
local date and we have a method is called parse so here we will have to specify time like 2017 March and this is called 5th of March I would like to give and if you try to print value for this local date 5 then this will print this date in the form of YYY MM and DD so this is also where to create instance of local date using parse method now next thing the local date provides various utility class to obtain a variety of information let's have a quick peek some of these AP APIs like uh, if you have a local date so suppose you have a this particular date right and in this date what you'll do in this date you can add you can add so we have a, a method is called plus sorry plus uh, plus days I'm gonna add two days number of days two in this date and this I'm going to store in variable six so here this is the uh, 5th March 2017 and two days I'm going to add in this date so we'll get 7th of March right if I try to print you can add day month year so there are a lot of API so look at your 7th March 2017 if you look into like this you even you can minus I mean number of days week year everything they have given over here right so if you want to add some amount of days year or month you can add it so now uh, you can add or you can minus even number of days as well right so suppose I, I have a date this one and you can you want to minus some date like minus right and you can see minus has a lot of overloaded method right you can see my so so I want to subtract two days and some uh, class is called chrono chrono unit and you can so number of days I want to subtract right and this will return you so basically local date 5 is representing I mean 5th of March and just we are subtracting two days so uh, this will give the third of March so if I run it so last SOP output you will get third of March right so and you can make a uh, use of corona unit right so this is kind of enumeration so these are the huge cases we have seen for lo uh, local data so local data has a variety of methods or different methods through which you can uh, create I mean date you can have a lot of API like factory methods there you can add I mean some specific amount of time uh, you can subtract some amount of time you can create by passing year month date right and you can create instance of local method so these are the use cases we have seen in next video tutorial I am going to continue with the same so thanks for watching this video and see you in next video tutorial